Hey everyone, on this episode of Baker with Calvin, I'm going to be doing a partial teardown of an Artillery 3D Sidewinder X2 extruder hot end assembly for people who are curious about the way that it's set up. So let's dive into it. So for those who are wondering, the only reason why we're not doing a full teardown on this is because all I have to do is just replace the BL Touch probe here, which had the probe tip yanked out. And I also am curious to see if the uh, G-Tech 3D Touch here is a good drop-in as opposed to getting the artillery one. Now, one thing I will say on this newer style of hot end is the fact that the heat sink and the extruder body are one piece. So if you need to access the hot end inside there, just remove the fan. That's all one piece now. So going back over to here, what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this little clip here, which is a great, great addition by artillery. And judging from what I can see, that's a non-locking cable holder. Perfect, that just pulls right out. So now we can work on this without worrying about damaging the ribbon cable. So I'm just gonna unscrew this guy. Oh, that's nice, these screws are a lot shorter. Okay, now we have access to the ribbon cable board and we can see the connections. Judging from this, if you wanted to pull this whole assembly off but keep the carriage on here, I think it's just four screws. I don't know about the accessibility of that on the bottom, but we're not here to do that. We're here to deal with the touch probe. So let me see. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. So there's the artillery brand probe and you'll notice it has that there on the side. Yeah, that definitely looks custom made. Let's see, it's missing the tip, but if you compare that to the, I'm not gonna pull it out of the packaging. If you compare that to the G-Tech, which, sorry if you get any static batteries in the way. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's no way that's gonna fit. Okay. Oops. So here we have our fan, our, I believe the heater element, yeah, the fan for cooling the, for cooling the heat sink, and then the thermistor wires. I'm gonna be really careful with all those because those are fragile. But the nice thing is the fact that there's these nuts here in the back of the motor. And then obviously here is the insulator and you can kind of see from the dust mark that the line goes vertically on that side. Oops, had it upside down with the slot on the high side. So that is super critical. Otherwise, um, this possibility things could short out and that's not a very good day. So this was really nice. Artillery actually put two white circles for where the screw holes for the extruder board are, which are directly opposite of the screw holes for the plastic cover. So there you have it. There is how to do a basic teardown of the Artillery 3D hot end assembly. Like I said, I wasn't gonna go ripping the whole thing apart. There is uh, absolutely no need to be doing that. So hope that's helpful to yeah, hope that is helpful to somebody out there. Um, the other the other nice thing is they did um, a very nice job of marking with the um, silk screening on here. What is where you got the LED with the uh, signal, the ground, the five volts. You got the jumper here. Um, it says extruder break E for extruder breakout version two. Really nice job on artillery's part of putting all this information on here, especially if you need to purchase another one because obviously this is not like the others. And it also lists for the Z probe which um, pins are where. So 
really, really nice of artillery to do that. So hope somebody finds this useful and I'll see you next time on Make It With Calvin.